So to connect with that part within a woman that is called the priestess, first maybe we need to understand what is a priestess, right? So as I see it, it's that part within us which is capable of life in total communion with the spirit. It's the part within us, the priestess, yeah, that archetype, it's the highest feminine archetype, that woman who has the courage to live life with an open heart, to live life as love. And that sounds like a good concept and maybe a nice thing to do and kind of obvious. Yeah, of course, everyone wants to live as love, everyone wants to love. But yet it takes a lot of tremendous dedication and work on, on ourselves to actually remove and to shed light upon all those parts which are not aligned with love and that are hiding and that are in the darkness. And so if a woman chooses to live as a priestess and she stops judging all other parts of herself, instead she is open enough to embrace them and to yeah, just be okay with the humanness. And at the same time, not never compromise that alignment with the spirit that she knows she carries. And um, I believe that each and every woman has that within herself, but some are seem to be more open to that. Some seem to be already having that inner knowing, yet maybe no one gave them permission yet to accept it, or um, they never felt met in that knowing in the world. It's like, okay, I have this kind of inner world which is so rich and so profound, and yet I have no one even to talk to about this, because if I say this, people will think I'm crazy, or that I'm kind of out of this world or something like this but in fact it's very simple it's it's and it's so natural actually for us to just live in that connection with our spiritual self live in that connection and trust and knowing that each and every step of us can be an offering each and every step that we take can be a commitment a dedication to love and how to cultivate it is by, first of all, really accepting that part, like feeling that part. What, what is that part? What does this part really want? What does this part really desire in this world? How does it manifest? Where do you feel she manifests? Maybe when you're by yourself, or maybe when you're just with women, or maybe when you are in your relationship, maybe in sexuality. Yeah, maybe when you are in a temple, or maybe you, when you're by the sea, you feel like you're in a temple, or by the river. So uh, I find that, that it's probably one uh, first important thing to just really identify where do you feel your inner priestess? Where does she come out? Where does she feel safe enough to, to shine? And then, okay, the next question, so how to empower her? How to bring her more into this life, into this world? I find that um, first and foremost, it's really about getting very clear about your boundaries. This is a really big part with the priestess and, and knowing that you are a temple, that your body is a sacred temple. And so when you really root into that knowing, then you will never allow influences which are not in coherence with that. Frequencies that are disturbing, you just won't allow them, just energetically, because you have it, you, you carry yourself as a temple. This is amazing. So I find that this is a powerful practice. And then on a practical note, like, okay, so it sounds good, but what to do, really? How, what actually can I do for that? Um, and I would recommend to find that space where you feel that she comes out, yeah? So as, as I spoke before, maybe by the river, maybe in the forest, maybe you have an altar and a sacred space in your, in your home. So establish that time when every day you go there and you spend as much time as you can, maybe 10 minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, as much time as you possibly can, maybe just five minutes a day, this is fine. But you, you have that time when you really anchor yourself. This is a time for your priestess. You, and you come and you can sit in silence. You don't even need to call it meditation. You just come and you sit in silence and you ask yourself. Yeah, you ask your spirit for guidance, for support. And then you feel what, what emerges, what wants to happen. Do you just want to sit quietly or do you want to move? Maybe you feel spontaneous movements are coming. Maybe gestures with your hands or you want to do something. Maybe you want to pray or... Um, make a ritual of forgiveness or you know just I find that th this is this is it you know like really cultivating that knowledge that self-knowledge and that trust 
within your own guidance without waiting for someone to tell you what to do but like really having that time okay this is a time for me and myself and then no and you will be amazed that yes this it comes everything comes naturally <laughs>